Good afternoon. Today we're going to learn a little bit about an overview of the program MathPad Plus. MathPad is an excellent program for helping students organize their writing for math, whether it's adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. And the MathPad Plus has fractions and decimals built right into it with manipulatives. It's great because this can help organize students who have difficulty aligning their math questions. One question at a time could help visually keep it clear, as well as auditory feedback, hearing what you are putting on the page. So let's get started by looking at the overview of the main toolbar, different parts of MathPad. We are in the display mode of the worksheet, which is the grid. This is the grid up here, worksheet. The next one beside it is one that you can go in between back and forth, and it's the manipulative view. And you'll see here, there's fractions in circles. Then clicking here will take me to fraction bars, and then clicking here is the decimal grids. So I can go between all of those and go back to the worksheet and toggle between the two as I'm working on problems. Up at the top as well, there is a calculator that you can bring in. What's great about this calculator is that in this window, it will keep track of what you have put in. So you've got a visual reference if you're trying to figure out some answers to a few problems. So that's the calculator. Up above here, these are going forward and going backwards if you've done problems and you want to go back to page, you know, the previous question. This is opening for a new page, checking your work, which you can hear and see. This turns off the speech. This is a text box, which means I can type here and add more or written description to um, the process of the question I'm completing. These four are delete, and there's paste and cut and copy. So over at the side, these are to help you navigate around the page. Left and right, it can take me, can go up, can go down, and this will take me all over the page. This will be delete, tab, enter, and shift. This whole area, as you can see, is the number pad. It's got your multiply and your add and your divide, your, your percentage, and it also has greater than and less than. So that's that section. So if I click in there and I want to put my question 45 take away 2 equals will be put directly on the worksheet as well as up here to keep track. So what are these buttons down here for? Now this one is a fraction button. So if I wanted to make a fraction, I'm going to click, fraction. and now I can click a number 8, click underneath in the denominator, and have 9. nine. So I've got my fraction. This H and V stands for horizontal and vertical. So if I want to change this question that I've created, and I want it vertical, vertical. then I just click it, and it will change it into the vertical mode. This is for setting up your division question, remainder. Now this is a versatile button that you'll use a lot for adding and um, when you carry and when you're borrowing and subtraction. This is the regroup button, which we'll show in our next video when we do examples of adding and subtracting. Crossing out and reciprocal fraction. So that's an overview. Let's look along here. Some parts of the program that you may use is under settings, there's preferences. And this is where it allows you to customize the look of your worksheet. Paper color, you can have it different colors. The lines in the grid can be different. The font, the size. So that's nice to have that option depending on the student that you're working with. You could also have access. There's switch access and key overlays. So if you have a student who is unable to use their hands. General is speaking. You've got the voice. Answer feedback you can change. And then the manipulatives. You have a little bit of flexibility with the background color and generally contrast, overflow, and labels. So 
What else is underneath there that you might use? Well, as you're working on questions and you've completed a few, you may want to see all the questions that you've done. And you can do that by checking out the problem list and you'll see them all listed there. And under help, that gives you a little bit about it. But IntelliTools is the company that created MathPad. So what's great about that is if you go to the IntelliTools website, so let's go to the IntelliTools website and have a look because there's a couple of support videos on there. And I'm going to put in IntelliTools and let's go there. IntelliTools has a number of different programs that it creates. And here's one for math, the MathPad and MathPad Plus. So let's go to the side here, the product demo, and under math. So there's different concepts, MathPad, which is the add, subtract, multiply, divide, and MathPad Plus will take you the video to lead you around some of the features of using the fractions and the decimal manipulatives. Another website that can be very helpful is SetBC, where there's information around different parts of the program, how to make more detailed questions, and let's put in math, MathPad, under the search, MathPad Plus, and let's just scroll down. MathPad Plus, a little further down, and there we go. We have some supports. There's a download document that gives you information about how to make questions and a little bit about the program. A teacher could set up a class, more than one student, um, and put questions in beforehand. So that's a little bit about an overview of MathPad Plus. Thank you for listening, and please look for our other videos on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide in MathPad+. Thanks.